yeah this is the northwood university okay um why study in usa well it's a world largest economy it gives an edge in terms of the technology most liberal world class, uh, class research facilities at all level safe and multicultural learning environment and you will get up to three years of stay back under the opt first time process okay um now if i talk about the northwood university so it has been started on march 23 1959 by dr arthur turner and dr gray so they started with 100 students at that moment of time okay and the university now has been grewed and matured and it has become one of the most accredited university in um, in us as well so the Davos Graduate School of Management was uh, created and then expanded. The degree, uh, sorry, the degree program and this program centers are expanded to over various countries in uh, you know international program centers, whether it's in Middle East or in China or in Southeast Asian countries, so or in Europe. Okay. Um, so today, Northwood University educates managers and entrepreneurs into skilled and uh, ethical leaders with more than 65,000 alumni and a vibrant objective ahead. So it is striving. Uh, the core purpose of Northwood University is to develop leadership, uh, leaders, managers, and entrepreneurship skills, the characters and skills to desire these personal, organizational, and to create a success out of it. Okay. Why Northwood University? That is a major question that you know many of the people or many of the students or family ask. So it gives you an entrepreneurial environment. See, anyhow, you know, everyone wanted to go ahead with the corporate structure. And also, you know, it, it gives you uh, an understanding about you know being a leader and working as an entrepreneur. Okay. And how to categorize this that is something that we would be guiding by our university. 34 students of our uh, graduates own some or all of their business within five years of graduation. Uh, marketable majors, so then complete resident, uh, residential student life experience, robust athletic program in CA Division II. It is situated in Midland in USA, which is pretty amazing. I mean, you should go over there and it gives you a highlight about this city. Oh, it's amazing. Accreditation, um, it has been accredited uh, in as a high learning by High Learning Commission, North Central Association, and Accreditation Council for Business Scholarship Programs. Now, the Devos Graduate School, which is the Richard Devos uh, Graduate School. So, for over 25 years, the Richard Devos the Graduate School of Management at Northwood University has prepared students for success as global business leaders. Uh, the student develops critical thinking and uh, skills through problem solving and collaboration rather than lectures and memorization. The faculty have real industry experience that they guide you to, you know, while having a class discussion on a real time basis. We call this focus on practical learning the diverse difference. No matter what degree you pursue with us, you will graduate with a solid foundation in skills you can apply to your career right away. Um, we are currently uh, focusing on three programs, as I've already mentioned, Global Masters of Business Administration, Global MBA, Master of Finance and uh, sorry, Master of Science in Finance and Master of Science in Business Analytics. OK, now Global MBA. Um, if I talk about the format, it's a two-year program. Uh, tuition fee is thirty-seven thousand eighty USD. Um, intake we have mentioned is August and January. Scholarship that you can get is up to nine thousand USD. Entry requirement uh, eligibility that you can say is you know at least sixty percent uh, your bachelor's degree. And as far as you know, there's no GMAT or GRE required. IELTS and TOEFL is required. IELTS up to six bands and TOEFL up, uh, up to 80. Then Master of uh, Science in Finance is again a two years program. The tuition fee is uh, 24,330 USD. Same the intake August and January. Uh, you can get in scholarship up to 6,000 USD. Um, the same eligibility of you know 60 percent in your bachelor's uh, and IELTS and TOEFL any one of them is required 
again with the master of science in business analytics two years program the fee is 24330 sorry uh, intake is for august and january you can get scholarship of the 6000 usd and uh, entry requirement is 60 percent in your bachelor's and i or TOEFL, any one of them six band or 80 in TOEFL. now um if i talk about the format okay so we have constituted into two categories okay so uh for the global mba okay one year uh so it is two years program as well and it is a one year program as well so you guys have an option to choose any of the format as per your convenience okay however the start dates are something that is mentioned over there uh for global mba one year program okay you will be getting the same benefit okay uh that will going to get start uh in january 2022 in uh for the master of science in finance that is for one year on campus uh that will again going to get start in january 2022 but for business analytics it will going to get start in may 2022 um for the two years or on campus or for the blended program blended is one year online one year on campus or two years on campus whatever suits you so the start date for all the three blended or two years on campus will be from august 2022 the program benefits it gives you an edge in terms of upskilling yourself okay how you can classify yourself giving an edge over the other people while applying for the job or while if you want to start on your own is something that you will get from these particular programs you'll get a better job and salary opportunities uh, majorly uh, mr richard devers who is the who is also the co-founder of amway and um, his uh, daughter-in-law who was the uh, secretary in the ministry of education over there and plus a lot of a lot of you know options with respect to the uh alums who have uh coming across or who are working as a major roles over there so lots of options lots of you know opportunities will be there uh that will gives you uh better options and a better living style with respect to working in a good company um Getting a US visa will be uh, pretty good. Uh, why? Because of the fact that, you know, um, first of all, the recognition of that particular university is something which is equally important while applying to the visa. And, you know, if you are going for a blended, then, you know, uh, while completing for one year online, you'll get a transcript. So the chances of you getting shortlisted are pretty much higher. Economical, yes, if you compare with other universities, so it is pretty much economical. And uh, so currently, COVID, as you all know that, you know, because of the pandemic, the COVID scenario that is currently prevailing. So it has been preferable by the university that they are considering for the uh, one year online and one year on campus. However, if the candidate really wanted to go for on campus, the option is pretty available. So the residence life, you would be getting um, two students per room or four students per room, no community bathroom. That, that is something that uh, I'll be sharing with you. Okay. Um, so if you talk about the accommodation, yes, there will be accommodation that will be there. Top reasons to attend Northwood University. So the Devers Graduate School ranked best value college in Michigan, according to Pay Scale 2018 scholarship return on investment report, the high ROI on tuition investment, top of placements in Michigan, business driven curriculum, real world projects, professors with uh, real world examples, small class sizes and individual attention. So it will be more kind of a one-on-one -on -one interaction, exceptional academic and student experience, career assistance center and networking. Great so sports facilities, students run campus, community centers, everything will be there, okay. Um, if I talk about the comparison, it's been like, you know, we do accept 15 years of education as well as compared to majority of the universities or colleges who accept 16 years of uh, education, gap in studies, yes, um, placement, it varies between 70,000 USD to 150,000 USD, so it is, it is pretty much more on the ROI side, English proficiency test, not mandatory, okay, um, 
international tests like GMAT or something kind of GRE, it is not required. OPT uh, for global MBA uh, and for Master of Science in Finance, you would be receiving one year OPT and for uh, business analytics, uh, you would be receiving two years OPT as it is considered an STEM. Visa success rate is pretty high. Work uh, experience chance, yes, they will be there, and fees, as I've already mentioned, it constitute in a very economical way as compared to other uh, universities. The application process is pretty simple. First of all, you need to complete your application form while uh, you know submitting your uh, details, your uh, attaching your documents, your 10th and 12th mark sheet, your graduation degree, post graduation degree, mark sheets over there so on and so forth, okay. Same with the resume that should be mentioned over there, along with your SOP, the application will then goes under the scrutination part or in under the review part and if you get admission. So yeah, so would you would receive um, the letter from RN. Scholarship, it would constitute under the merit-based scholarship or high potential employees scholarship, emerging market, women in business scholarship, need-based scholarship. So that is something that you, plus, you know, those who apply in round one are automatically considered for the early round of getting commission. So scholarship, so that is pretty amazing. So yeah, that's it. If you have any queries, any doubts, you can uh, come up to me. I would be happy to help you on to it. So yeah, um, there's a video as well. Uh, Mr. Bridget, if you would allow me to uh, present the campus tour. Yes, 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 please. Sure. I'm, I'm like, if you have uh, sufficient time, I guess, suppose we do have. Yeah, so. Just allow me a moment. Uh, is the voice audible? Uh, can you play a little more? Yeah. Welcome to Northridge University. Yes, audible. It is audible, right? Okay, great, great, great. You can make it a little louder if possible. Uh, sure, I'll do that. Welcome to Northridge University in Midland, Michigan. I'm Chad, and I'm excited to take you around campus to show you what life is like as a Timberwolf. North Village is the perfect place to live on campus. Each student gets their own private room while sharing a common living room, kitchen, and bathroom. On the main floor, students can kick back and relax, grab a quick snack at the 24-7 Marketplace, or enjoy an upscale meal at the Bistro. We have four main academic buildings on campus, equipped with state-of-the-art lecture halls, breakout rooms, computer labs, and lounges. Northwood's small class sizes allow students to engage with each other and their professors who have real-world work experience. We also offer a world-class graduate school for students who want to take their education to the next level. The Strode Sector Library is a great place to hang out in between classes. We have study spaces, access to research and learning materials specific to your major, and student tutors for any subject. You'll often find students studying in the quiet zones or preparing for a big presentation. The Dow Commons Dining Hall, otherwise known as the CAF, is where students can come and enjoy a wide variety of food options like a pasta station, ethnic cuisine, and more. And if you have a night class or you're studying late, we have late night dining so you can still grab a bite to eat. This is the student union where you can come and study, watch a game with friends, or just hang out. It also houses our student organizations like the Student Government Association and Greek Life. The bookstore is here too, with easy access to school supplies and north of gear. The Hawk Student Life Center is one of the busiest spots on campus. This facility has three courts, an indoor track, 
a dancer with exercise classes, saunas, and a weight room. The Wolf Den also provides you healthy meals, smoothies, and protein shakes for your workouts. This is the Mall Watch, one of the most recognizable places at Northfield. This path can take you to every building on campus with some cool hangout spots, like Founders Gardens. Here, you'll find students soaking up the sun when it's warm out or gathering by the fire pit when it's a bit cooler. The Pier Marquette Rail Trail is a paved 30 mile path that runs through the heart of campus. Students can ride their bikes, rollerblade, or walk to downtown. The famous Tridge serves as the centerpiece of Midland's bustling downtown district. We have 20 different athletic teams here, including basketball, football, soccer, and even any sports team. If you love sports, we have games on campus year round. You can find your True North here at North University. We'd love for you to come by and check out campus for yourself. Go Timberwolves! Okay. So yeah, this is not for university. So thank you very much, Bhaya. Thank you again for the presentation. Uh, superb. Wow is the comment basically that has come from IK. Uh, thank you, IK. Uh, you know, there are certain questions that have come up. Uh, one is basically, uh, are all these programs available for January 2022 intake? You have mentioned uh, yes. I have mentioned over there, okay, um, the formats, like, you know, for one year, uh, we are taking a Master of Science in Finance and Global MBA. Uh, but for the business analytics, uh, it would be from May. And uh, if you wanted to go for two years on campus or blend it, uh, that we are taking the intake from August 2022. Okay. The question was regarding basically face-to-face. -face. So it would be August 2022. Yes, August 2022. Or one, see, uh, if you are looking forward for face-to-face uh, -face or on campus, so these one year as well, uh, uh, you can consider or go ahead with it. The same facilities or features will be there. Perfect. You also mentioned that basically if the student has taken online, it can help in the visa process that he has continued the education or she has continued the education and then she is moving to US to complete the master's program. Absolutely. I'm like, the, these are the options that we are providing in terms of the flexibility part. So students have an option if they wanted to go for, you know, one year online and one year on campus, that is something that they can consider. Or if they wanted to, you know, experience the lifestyle over there because majority of the students would be looking forward to live over there. So they are very much welcome to go for one year or two year on campus. There is a question basically which says, do you offer discount on online programs? There are various uh, online programs. Um, no, these are the, you know, these are the things that, um, I mean, these are the parameters that we follow. Uh, yes, if you get scholarship, you would be able to go through, you know, uh, a better deal onto it. But uh, the scholarship is something that we, I would be able to help you or, uh, Mr. Richard or your consultant would be able to help you onto it in getting the particular candidates are getting shortlisted. Okay. Uh, finally, basically, uh, there's a question on application fee. How much is the application fee and is the application, can the application fee be waived? Yes, it. the application fees is 1000 USD and uh, yes, it can be waived. I would be able to share uh, the link of the application form along with the uh, waiver code, you just need to paste over there. Okay, so that's a huge amount. You can save 1000 USD uh, if you yes. are applying to Northwood University and uh, save a good amount of money. That's wow. That's wow <laughs> factor. Able to save a lot. <laughs> anyway. So uh, there's also a question on uh, job fairs, career service. Mm -hmm. uh, a student wants to know basically a little bit more on that. Okay, so first of all, you know, there will be various mock calls or mock interviews that will, uh, that will be constituted uh, once you complete like 60 to 70 percent of the program. Okay, um, there will be education fairs, okay, uh, that we, that Northwood University organized, it would be kind of a one-on-one -on -one, uh, interaction with the, uh, with the uh, uh, companies that who would be participating. So this education fair that has been organized by Northwood University for the uh, students, okay. 
so you are very much welcome over there but before that we would be able to prepare you you know how you should be able to crack that particular uh, what you can say uh, the interview process of that particular company okay for that you know you should go ahead with the mock interviews be dedicated uh, we would be able to help you with the resume preparation um, then there will be a direct connection with a particular uh, professional like you know let's suppose you wanted to go ahead into the business and artists or let's suppose into the marketing so and you would understand you know what exactly the crux of the marketing is so we would be providing you certain professionals who would be guiding you you know uh, what exactly the scenarios are how you would be able to present yourself and you know what are the number of companies that you should apply on to it so these are the facilities that we would be helping you with resume preparation yes we would be guiding you on to it and uh, yeah i'm like yeah and there will be a lot of alums that you know who are working uh, so there will be alumni meet as well plus you know uh, various uh, companies that comes forward for the interview process so yeah a lot of options will be there so you don't have to worry on it just be clear with your goal that's it the, you know uh, a small part of that question is are students allowed to work on campus off campus doing the work and uh, are the is the university going to help in the same so university will going to help you with the internship uh, various opportunities that come across at that moment of time so uh, you should apply to the uh, internship that uh, that is very much apt according to what exactly your goal is so yes university would be helping you while you know going ahead with the uh, with the program and that is the that is the custom that uh, universities follows over there so you don't have to worry on to it so it's pretty you know simple criteria that they follow so one more basically thing is you spoke about the scholarship uh, are there any assistantship opportunities assistantship in the sense uh, you know student working for graduate department of uh, uh, helping the professors in teaching assistantship those type of are they available okay uh, that is new um as far as my knowledge is concerned i don't think so but you know i can check on to this part uh, then i would be able to provide you a better clarity on to it okay. uh, after the application is submitted how much time it takes for processing to know the admission decision um it's generally takes you know 15 to 20 working days to get it done okay um see in a 7 days time frame uh, you would receive that you know uh, what will be the uh, next further round okay now for that you know there will be an interview process as well that will be conducted okay so uh, to cracking up the interview is something that uh, we would be providing you the guidelines okay uh, what exactly the question that they generally ask so we would be helping on to it so it generally takes 15 to 20 days to get it done yeah because there's an interview process that follows okay so uh, let me just highlight those few SOP, uh, USPs of Northwood University. One, it accepts 15 years of education. So all those Indian students who have done their three years of bachelor's can apply. That's one. Second, there is an application fee waiver, which is thousand US dollars. So it's a big thing, saving one thousand dollars. Third, there is no GMAT or GRE required. So it, you know you can apply. Uh, and fourth is basically in case uh, uh, you have a good English proficiency, which can be reflected in your academics, probably, you know, it is mentioned uh, TOEFL or ILTS is not mandatory as well. Yes. So these are four big things that I could find out from the Northwood University. There are many more that, you know, basically uh, you must have seen in the presentation as well. And which uh, Mr. Bhagat will also highlight in the course of question answers. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the next question is, uh, do the university offer support for off-campus accommodation? Yes, university will support and they do support for the off-campus uh, accommodation. Uh, the next question is, uh, can we, uh, you know, after getting admission, know about Indian students who are going so that we can plan things together? So there will be a certain community that, you know, this is the particular, so I'll tell you. So once you get shortlisted, once you go ahead with the process and everything, so uh, in a platform on social media, so there will be a community that will be provided to you wherein you would 
be able to sign up so you can very much interact over there that you know who or uh, who would be the student that uh, who has you know gone uh, going ahead with the uh, with this particular university with this particular program so it's very easy and simpler way to interact with them so yeah yes okay uh, okay probably last question is uh, basically what are the precautions that uh, basically a student has to take and the university is taking doing this pandemic situation something related to covid 19 <laughs> so uh, see first of all you know um i'm like they are going ahead with the online and they are emphasizing more towards the online part however you know it's just that you know we indians or it's not about indian it's about you know the student who is going ahead uh, with us uh, studying over there so they consider you know um experiencing the ambience the environment over there the living experience over there so with respect to the sanitation and everything they they have opened up their doors of the university and you know um kind of a sanitization is something that we provided uh, the sessions has been complete uh, done in a very you know structural way wherein you know restricted number of students uh, will be attending that particular sens uh, sessions uh, if you are visiting the university so uh, and they will be uh, what you can say uh, distancing with respect to uh, you know uh, the seating capacity um, the ambience over there i mean like it's it's pretty you know sanitized and they follow a lot of structure so it's 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 a good area and you don't have to worry about the precautions over there so they definitely going to fall low unless the us authorities will go going to you know stop or you know they they will be uh, they would be able uh, they need to be presentable okay unless us authorities is pretty strict over there and they follow very strict criteria of adhering to the rules okay 